guys, Warz here. So today we're going to be doing the LCD tutorial for an Art Tuesday tips. So let's get it started. So the LCD screen is pretty much um, tiny LEDs, uh, very uh, a lot of tiny LEDs, extremely. But this is like a replica, basically how to make it with only VFX and only effects, basically with non-realistic um, LCD screen or non-materialistic screen basically just pure editing pure after effect for 100 percent animated not realistic real just but with the most realistic effects so this is pretty much how it looks like at the end so as you can see this is pretty much like blinking as a real lcd screen and the text looks like a small leds and pretty much everything uh, related to an LCD screen so we're gonna be doing this in After Effect and only After Effect uh, so yeah okay so I'm gonna be doing a lot of composition in this uh, so this if, if when you're working on a project it's very important to do a folder on this one because you'll have a lot of composition flying by and you just want to regroup them so it's gonna be easier to work with so now I'm just gonna be doing a uh, I'm just gonna call it a uh, well wars or Tuesday tips LCD. There you go. So this is pretty much um, the folder what's gonna be called. So now we're gonna be doing a new composition which is gonna be called text. So now we're gonna have the composition here with all the text. Uh, so we're gonna add the text. Uh, so yeah, okay. Um, I'm just gonna add a text here. So we're gonna write Tuesday tips. And now the font that we're gonna use is we're gonna use a um, LCD screen font, which is uh, I think it's LCD something. I'm not really sure about it. So. Um, we could use like a VCR uh, text, but I'm not. Yeah, that's not the same. No, that's not. That's not it. Um, well, I'm gonna be back. And I'm gonna try to find the font that I normally use for this. Okay, so we're back now, and what the font that I usually use to do the LCD screens is called Small Fonts, which is looking pretty much like an LCD screen. The thing that I like to do actually is just to stretch it a little bit since it's kind of squishy. So yeah, now it looks better and way better than before. So now what we're gonna do is just we're gonna copy and paste this text and we're gonna put the second one under it and try to get like the same distance for each one. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna make a line with this. I don't know if I can use grid. Yeah, okay. If I use the grid, let's see that this is here. So yeah, okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're gonna remove the grid, and now I'm gonna copy the two texts here, both of them, and I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna come position and change both of them. It's gotta be faster. And do the same thing again, basically. To um, wait, shit, this, this, here you go. It doesn't need to be exactly precise, but you get the point. You need to get something that it looks good. I don't know where this other text went, so I'm just gonna remove it. I don't know where are you. Oh, okay, it's because I. Never mind. Okay. And now we're just gonna add um, two last texts. Just be sure that it's gonna be thinning and stuff. But I. Okay, wait. This text is not right. Yeah. Okay, this one is okay. Now we're gonna modify the other one. And uh, not this one. The fifth one, which is this one. That looks okay. And this one, which is gonna be here. So, okay, here we go. Now we all, we all, we have all the text that we need. 
Um, so now we're just gonna, I'm just gonna move it a little up. Okay, so this is all the text that we have. Uh, I don't know if I want to, uh, if we, if you want some blocks, you just need to do the same thing with um, square. You just go on solid uh, or this thing, but I prefer to use a solid. So you go to solid, you make it white, you go and then you just change the aspect. You make it a square, you put it there, but you do a new comp like this one because we're going to separate the comp, which is a bit easier to work with. So I'm just going to do a normal text. I'm not going to do the block animation or anything like that. So yeah. Okay. So after we've done the text, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a new comp. Uh, this comp is going to be a replica with a replica with all the texts. Uh, Texas with an S. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna put multiple Texas since we're gonna have the same text. Okay, so now we're gonna put this in the folder. I'm just gonna remove the solid one, so it's not really useful. Wait, did I forgot? Okay, no, never mind. Okay, so now we're on multiple text. We're gonna drag the text here. Um, I'm gonna make it small. Here you go. There you go. Now we gotta duplicate it again. Make sure that we have. There you go. Uh, this one is not right. This one is right. So same height. Um, I'm just gonna change it, the size of the text again. So here, not like not sm as small as this, but. 40 is gonna be all right, I guess. Forty again with this one. Position, position. This one here, this one here. Same position. This one gonna stick it with the other one. Okay, that looks neat. Uh, I'm gonna give it space since it needs space usually. On the LCD screen, there's always like a little gap each time there's like a certain amount of character. So I'm gonna give the gap and yeah, okay. And I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna place it away. So Okay, for the purpose of the tutorial, it's not really a big deal if it just overflows like that. But I'm, I'm just gonna remove it anyway, since it's just disturbing me, I guess. So, okay, here we go. Scale, I'm gonna scale them up a bit. Okay, here you go. It's not like a really quick tutorial, as you can see. It really takes time and precise precision to do it. So yeah. Okay. Anyway, for this place, we're just gonna blur this. Okay, here you go. Hmm, I accidentally touched it one. So okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it smaller. Okay, here you go. Now we have all the gaps that we want. This one here, this one here, and this one here. So we have Tuesday's tip pretty much everywhere now. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove this text. So now we have the texts and everything with that. So, okay. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do everything that I need to do to make the background, to do everything related to, yeah, background and stuff and other type of add-ons that I want to do so I'm gonna do a new composition which is gonna be all uh, all with text um, wait maybe no add-ons since we're adding backgrounds and stuff so we're gonna do a new solid we're gonna make it blue since it's an LCD screen a kind of a dark, uh, really royal blue, I guess. But yeah, I like that. There you go. Now we're gonna add the multiple text composition. Usually, this is the time well, then that we should have uh, placed blocks one. 
you know, with the blocks and stuff. Uh, well, no, the block one would be in there. We do the animation here, and then we just put the add-ons here. So now we have the background. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in the middle since it's not really centered. Okay. Uh, so now we have everything with the background, and yeah, we could have done something else, but yeah, it's really important the background and everything like that is regrouped together. So. Because when we're going to use a camera or anything else to move the frame or move everything, you need to have like the background included in that. Because if you just move the text, it's going to... The camera will only detect the text and it's going to only move the text but not the background. So it's going to look really bad. And also with the, L L's, the LED effect that we're going to use later on with the BCC plugin, it's going to be important to do that in one comp. So now that I would do that, we're just gonna make the final one, which is gonna be the main one. Uh, we're gonna put that in the folder as well. Um, now we're gonna put the add-on one. Um, we're gonna put the BCC LED. This one, yeah. Uh, now everything's supposed to be moving. Uh, of course, it was gonna look bad, so I'm gonna disactivate it for now. Um, Control out Y. We're gonna add some glow as well. So um, S glow. Since I prefer to use S glow. There you go. I'm gonna disactivate this as well because we're gonna fix everything we need with the glow settings and LED settings after we've done the camera. So now what we're gonna do is gonna do layer new camera. So now we have a camera main i'm just gonna call it main i press every other button else than main so okay and uh, now we're gonna go to position or yeah i think it's position yeah we're gonna make it keyframe and uh, we're gonna modify the keyframe we're just gonna go here track z camera we're gonna zoom in uh, yeah i don't think it's this one wait what? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. You need to put the layers on 3D, that's what I forgot to do. To be able to modify the Z um, position, because if it's not 3D, you can modify any 3D aspect of it. Uh, so, here we go. Here we go. So now, we can, as we can see, we can move to the background and everything else. So, yeah, okay. Now, orbit camera, we're just going to modify the angle of it. Track x and y we're just gonna be here we're gonna go here there you go okay i'm just gonna put it like that since it's okay okay so now we're gonna add a keyframe then we're gonna move away we're just gonna make it like that i guess and um, track X and Y, here you go. So now what we have is pretty much like a LCD animation that goes up and down. So now we can do everything else we need to do. Okay, so for the adjustment layer, we gotta add the blur. Wait, I'm gonna add the LCD first, uh, LED first, I'm, I mean, sorry. So now as you can see, we have some really giant LEDs. This is not what we want. So we're just gonna change this one to circle to square since uh, Majority of the LEDs are kind of rectangular, so we're just gonna have square since there's no rectangular. Uh, LCD size, we're gonna put it some very low, like one, I guess. Okay, here you go. As we can see, it's looking more good. But the thing is now, um, yeah, we're gonna make it rectangular now by unlocking the gap X and Y and stuff. So now we can modify it, as you can see, the LED of this. So here we're gonna put it at one. It's gonna be back to normal. I'm gonna put this one to two or three, depends on what we want to have. It's supposed to be, it's gonna be longer in a second, I guess. Wait, okay, no. Oh yeah, this is a gap, by the way. Yeah, this is, wait, um, yeah, this is a size that I want to modify, sorry. Okay, we can log the gap, that's now okay. But for the size, we're just gonna make the X, Y, two more. And two. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see, we have some more LED kind of effect going on. So now, this is pretty much how it looks like. 
And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to adjustment layer, S glow. Because when you use this effect, the fact that there's a lot of gap and a lot of holes uh, makes it really dark. So with the glow, we're just gonna brighten it up and we're gonna make an LCD kind of effect with it. So we're gonna put a lot of it. Threshold is gonna be at zero. Uh, size is gonna be smaller though, since it's an LCD. Because if we make it too big, it's just gonna look blurry and it's not, that's very not what we want. It's clearly not what we want. So five, I'm just gonna put it at five since it's, it's okay. I feel like it's kind of bright. So I'm just gonna put this one at two. Okay. Uh, so this is with, uh, without, and this is with the glow. Uh, we're gonna make it more bluish since it's a L blue LCD. So now we, that's pretty much what we have now. So, okay. As we can see now, this is pretty much like an LCD screen. Um, you can do a lot more if you want. This is really depending on what project are you going to do it, uh, you're going to do it. But as for now, this is looking pretty much what, like I wanted to have. This is exactly looking like the animation that I showed you before, like this one. This one looks clearly better, of course, because I took more time to do it. But I mean, I did that as an uh, entertaining purpose. Uh, not entertaining purpose, but I mean, oh, you get what I mean. Okay, I'm sorry. Kind of tired, but yeah. As you can see, this is looking like an LCD screen and it looks, it's, it, it doesn't look bad at all. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time.